Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. It's been a minute since we've all been able to hang out and do a pick a card reading. Don't mind me, I'm going to light my Psychic Vision fixed candle and get her started. I'll be using her today as well as my candle for protection okay so as you guys can see we have three card piles to choose from we are going to be looking into the energy of spring it will be spring shortly here in just a minute time flies or has been flying lately if it is not spring where you are or if you're not resonating with the energy of spring this pick a card reading is going to be focusing on new beginnings new growth new chapter what the angels the guides see for you and what messages of support that i can channel for you now so go ahead and get cozy get comfortable and let's go ahead and dive right in all right my loves if you chose the raw morganite crystal this is your reading messages for spring. All of the tarot cards and oracle cards that I'll be working with can be found down below. The messages for spring. What is to come? What is unfolding? What do you need to hear? What is the vibe? For your highest and greatest good only. I'm gonna move the candle over so you can watch it and see if you notice any changes in the flame. Hmm. Okay, wow. Um, first things first, if you chose this pile, I wonder if there's a masculine energy that's on your uh, head space, heart space right now. Um, this might've been someone who has been unclear in their direction or their intention for the relationship or for you. If this is not a masculine energy that is on in your head space or in your heart space, this may be awakening within you the ability to see and know for yourself what you want for the future. I, wow, I was just going to say expectations, King of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. This is giving the energy of looking around like looking side by side it's sometimes exploring options not knowing what you want can make you settle for less than you deserve or accept what is given to you um spring is going to awaken within you direction yeah um this is going to be one thing that you have most likely walked out of is like repetitive cycles in your relationships or um lack of closure in the areas of your life right i wonder too some of you guys might need to look at like do a little self-reflection here that if you find that you're attracting um relationships or people that don't have concrete answers as far as like what are we what are we go what are we doing do you mirror that same energy in somewhere in your life where you need to be a little bit more clear and precise as far as what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. This could be kind of straddling the fence between diets, lifestyles, the future. Sometimes it's more fear of the future, the fear of the unknown. Knowing that there's a whole world out there for you, but maybe not necessarily feeling prepared, feeling scared. Someone here is needing to mature a lot. This could be um, someone that is that you're dating or someone, the type of people that you've been involved in or the type of person that you've been involved in. There might be a fear of growing up, maturing, holding on to feelings, like things of the past, things that make you um, separate from being an adult or being mature in some way. Um, someone here might be traveling, wanting to see the world, but 
if this is the case, uh, this is a very specific message. If this is the case, spirit is asking for you to be present. So you could be traveling the whole world, but be more spending more time like on your phone, checking notifications or checking what's going on back home versus being present in your vacation spot or wherever it is that you're traveling to. That's a very specific message. I just heard the word concrete evidence. Yeah, Six of Cups is the card of childishness, feeling juvenile, feeling playful. This is not the same as um, like inner child healing or being jovial. This is giving the energy of not leveling up, like not, not leveling up, but not um, knowing that the universe, your angels and your guides have called for you to receive more from life and someone kind of settling in. Now, I actually feel like this is, that like sometimes having it, I've noticed this when I'm doing readings for my clients, right? That when we talk about the energy, we just have an open conversation about the energy, the energy shifts almost immediately. The energy shifts and, and moves in a different direction in the way that is that they wanted to. Why? Because their minds, they may have, had the thought in their head they might have been thinking it it may have been on their heart but they never actually like articulated it they don't speak it out it's something that stays in their head so it didn't it needed a little extra boost of energy in order to really take off to really take off and i feel that someone here there's a, a game plan or a, a plan wow um, I don't know if you saw the smoke kind of burning off from the candle there. There might be something here like an obstacle or something that you need to say, right? And declare it, like declare it over your life. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, Spirit wants to talk about the future for you with, with the energy of spring. We have the star card here. We have the three of pentacles. We also have the ace of cups, beautiful. The six of swords reversed and the page of swords reversed. I don't know if you noticed this, but I actually felt called to put these backwards. Um, instead of putting them forward, I actually felt called to put them backwards, which to me is, to me this is symbolic. I see this as, especially with the six of cups, six of swords here, this is not, wherever it is that you've left or wherever it is that you are migrating away from in the spring season, it will, it doesn't seem like it will grow away from you. It will stay the same. Now that could be a wonderful message to hear. And then for others, it can be frustrating, especially if you're hoping for growth in another person or growth in a certain industry, your career, your work, or whatever the case is. Um, right now though, for the energy of spring, for you, it's less about what others are doing and what others want because I just heard the word restriction. Why? Because it's gonna restrict you from being able to move forward, from you from being able to feel freshness, newness, new life, new chapter, awakening, eye-opening, exploration. Someone here is going to see something with new, with new eyes and new optimism, and that's been something that's been skipping over you. You feel like maybe other people have been able to have more fun or, enjoy life or they're getting like blessings they're getting abundance they're like life seems to be fruitful and for you you may feel like it's skimming over you like you might be stuck in hard work or adversity or negativity there's going to be for spring it's going to be fresh fresh energy new awareness new perspective the ability to actually be present um and really see things in different in a new in a new in a new light in a new lens page of swords is your ability to process information to receive information to be curious about what it is that you're seeing instead of automatically assuming um i do want to say that it's interesting that the emperor card and the king of pentacles both came up to start these two cards are very sure of themselves it's almost as if spring is making you um, is opening up something where you don't feel sure-footed, right? Like you, it will have you lean a little bit more on faith, but you're going to feel so optimistic and so awe-inspired. You may actually start a new chapter in your life of adventuring in some way, like 
adventuring in a way that feels healthy and solid. This is gonna sound so silly, but the metaphor that Spirit is showing me is like someone who normally eats the same foods again and again, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, maybe like meal, pre meal prepping, and they're putting in all this work. They're putting in all this work and then they, it's not that they don't enjoy the progress of their work, but they're, they're, they're being called to kind of see bigger, see the life, explore life through, and then they start traveling, right? And then they go to Thailand and they're eating all the many different foods of Thailand and they find that even though they're not stuck on this strict diet, King of Pentacles, Emperor card, and fighting for these goals, you know, it almost seems like they hit their goal faster and enjoy the journey better by a change of scenery. And it could be the different quality of the food, it could be the environment, it could be how active you are, how excited you are, but it's the fresh lens, this new perspective. Something that was once dull, monotonous, that you just showed up every day, not complaining, because there is this message here, like this energy here of, someone making the best out of a situation, right? Or just kind of accepting a situation for what it is. There doesn't seem to be like complaining. It's just you are not able to, you wouldn't know that there's more out there if you didn't ever go to see it, right? You didn't, you know, um, branch out and, and, and venture out and to try and to ask questions. And those same goals that you had to work so hard for in one area seem to come effortlessly and feel so much better, um, you know, in, a, in another area. This could be a relationship, this could be your life, this could be your mental, this could be abundance. Some people just do better in different situations. Some people do better in different jobs, doing the same job in a different place. It, it, it goes it goes further so let me see what other additional messages we have here and then I'm gonna flip over the Oracle I heard for this pile like don't fear the unknown don't I, I do get a sense of being humbled but not in a negative way but more yeah see four of Pentacles there's this concern that you're gonna stick with status quo and not really shake shake it up a little bit um for someone here it could be something as simple as like getting a new haircut trying something different venturing out um you would be surprised how much your you'd be surprised how much your energy and how many blessings how much blessings can f flow into your life simply because you're open to receiving something different or, you know, changing it up, whatever that looks like for you. So spring is going to be the energy of breaking away from monotony for you, not doing the old, the, the, the regular, um, you know, life, new life. Yep, six of swords. They're afraid that you're going to stay stunted, that you will sabotage um, blessings and abundance that come into your life because you're not open to receiving them. You're just kind of like, no, thank you so much, but I'm gonna hold on to what it is that I have here. Your angels and your guides are asking you to open up your arms, open up your heart and your mind, and I think you would be pleasantly surprised. Yep, Queen of Cups is actually the energy of being receptive and allowing yourself to nurture and also be nurtured. Um, it's like sisterhood. Imagine sitting at a sisterhood table and everyone's talking about their feelings and um, their experiences and then you have one just sitting at the table who is closed lip, closed mouth and refuses to offer her opinion because she's timid or because she feels like she doesn't make a difference. You do make a difference. And when you speak up, even your small, what you think is small, profound wisdom is life-changing or relatable to another person. So spirit really wants to um, encourage you to blossom 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 and be present in that blossoming and it's natural to second guess it's natural to feel um, like eyes maybe on you or judging but no one's judging uh, you know no one's judging Okay, so the cards, I'm gonna read this card last. Let me put this here. The cards that you have, the first one, we have the hawk, omen and messages. So this is confirmation for someone who's already started hearing omens 
our messages confirm to confirm what it is that we just talked about in this reading emotional healing bleeding heart it's safe for you to let go of old emotional pain by doing so you allow your heart to mend some something for someone here you might have been closing your heart off from experiencing a new chapter because of fear or loss in the past the next card you have yeah perfectionism i want to put this here permission to make mistakes is so freeing it's the root of creativity and change allow me divine to make as many mistakes as i need free me from the prison of perfectionism so again this is more about the experience and not the mastery of the experience they just want you to show up and to try and i love that that yeah wow playfulness here to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so i do think that when it comes to let okay you guys are gonna hate me for this one hopefully not but um if there's this is kind of bringing me back to the playfulness that is that i talked about um when it comes to a person that may <clears throat> be on your <clears throat> head and heart you may not like this person because you want them to be serious and settle down but there might be something here that um you can learn from you know is not taking someone who doesn't take you seriously you know what i mean and exploring your many options instead of being like well i'll just wait for this this fish with a broken fin to figure it out and find me um it's more like okay this fish with a broken fin is swimming around in circles making himself dizzy and enjoying the process well if that's going to be your vibe then i too am going to find i'm not going to take this fish seriously you know when they say plenty of fish in the sea i'm just we're just talking about this one fish um that you might be heavier in your eyes on and be like why does he keep swimming in circles he could he or she could be so much better in this pond over here but that's fish chose that life right and as obviously he's got to be enjoying it or if not enjoying it then the um they're not uncomfortable enough to get out of that situation so i don't mean to laugh but it's almost teaching you right now it's almost a lesson that if they can do whatever the heck that they want then you should be able to do the same and don't do it without any like aha i'm gonna get back at you or i'm gonna this is gonna this is gonna shock them into no do it for the sake of what is in your best interest you know and also don't allow anything or anyone to hold you back from your play and your joy and where life is taking you now or wants to take you if you're open to it cotton yeah some of you guys are um you did have the king of pentacles and the emperor card and i don't know why i just see them as just kind of stuck you know um not normally they're known for their productivity and their business and their mindset and their wisdom oh there's ladybug um, that might be a sign for somebody too, but um, they're known for their productivity, but I just want to say that balance is very important here because the cotton is a very tough, uh, from what I've heard, it's a tough uh, plant to, to pick and to harvest. And the, I've heard from history books that it is, that's just not a, a, a you know, a field you wanted to be in back in those days, not that any of them were, but so this is to me right now from and this deck is from the southern the southern botanics and has it brings up a lot of like history united states history history of the united states so of course when i look at this card that's where my mind goes right now um but this is about laboring for me right now this is about laboring laboring and laboring and laboring and laboring and how unfair it can be to your physical body your emotional body your mental body your spiritual body and if you stay constantly working you know you could be a multi-millionaire but at the end of the day if you are exhausted if you are broken if you are not able to rest that's going to be a problem and there's this energy here about playfulness expansion just enjoying the journey and not being um dragged down by it the next cards we have yeah become the true you and it's interesting because i'm gonna put this right next to the perfectionist perfectionism card it says show the world who you really are and what you were born to do for some of you you have been in situations too long where you can't genuinely be yourself um i don't think that's intentional i think that you just feel like eyes are watching and maybe judging you um this spring for the start of spring is going to be the start of you blooming and blossoming into 
who you are, relaxed, at ease, playful, and not really um, influenced or negatively impacted by those around you that don't foster a space for you to be playful, like the butterfly kind of flitting from flower to flower, right? Purification. By purifying your life of negative people, places, and experiences, you attain true peace. Um, I want to say that, of course, if you need to do a little bit more extra work with removing people out of your life who don't serve anymore, do it by all means. But I do want to say, too, that what I can see and I can feel here is that I feel like you've purified enough, you know, and we don't want to, or cleansed enough, we don't want to um, make that all work as well. There's still this, this need to kind of be playful and to explore and to get out and to have the confidence to be like, okay, instead of me working on healing and feeling this feeling and doing this work or breaking these generational curses or striving for my promotion, what if I use those vacation days and I went on a trip and then you end up, you never know how this is gonna plan out. Yeah, narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. So what I wanna say with this is that someone here may actually accidentally have narrowed their pathway, right? Where they say, this is the only way that I can go. And then that can get very anxiety inducing. It can be very stress. It can inspire stress, you know? Um, I also want to say that the universe is very particular in the pathways that you are to that you are walking down right now. It may seem insignificant, but that narrow pathway is is closing off and purifying the way so that you're not getting distracted by all these different options and ideas. I think what has limited you if you've been feeling limited is your own perception of what's going on you may feel like you're getting kicked while you're down or that you may um you know there's not as many opportunities i think it's just more because you're laboring right you're just um doing uh too too long of work for too too hard of work for too long so when this narrow pathway shows up, it's the message is, is that you, the universe is kind of guiding you or trying to pull away um, things that don't serve you so that you can begin to, I don't wanna say feel obligated, but again, it's this mindset of being open so that you don't feel like you're being limited when in, in reality, the universe is guiding you into more play and exploration, right? But sometimes again, it's like how you would normally see yourself ends up becoming your limitation. I hope that makes sense. Let me read this last crystal for you, Raw Morganite, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next pile. Sensitivity, gentleness, empathy, compassion, the gift of vulnerability and self-forgiveness, and that showed up with the Queen of Cups. No matter how hard the rock, over time, water can alter it, making a path, a narrow pathway, where there was none before. The appearance of this crystal is a sign that this is a time for you to embrace your sensitivity and gentleness. There is no need to be forceful when you can simply be open to what you're entitled to receive. Allow yourself to be vulnerable as this crystal spirit appears in raw, unpolished form, finding strength and knowing that you do not have to engage in battles that serve no one. You are able to handle whatever your dramas are in front of you right now. Your exquisite sensitivity will serve you well for it allows you to see things as they are. The conscious universe will be gentle with you and raw morganite spirit is here to let you know that you are not alone and you have a solid foundation beneath you so express your gifts of empathy and compassion you are stronger than you know and that is so true it kind of sums up the entirety of this reading believe it or not i love how it all came together all right my love um i might do a little extended reading for this if i do it'll be down below just a little extra um help for you in this in this season because this is a little bit more um stricter of energy than i was expecting so i'm open to help yeah i'll do an extended all right thank you guys so much if you want to go dive into this energy a little further as needed i will go ahead especially when it comes to emotional healing and purification i'm gonna go ahead and move on to that and i'll see you guys in the next one bye all right my love if you chose the tiger eye crystal this is your reading.
energy for spring. What is coming in? What do you need to see here now? What is the vibe? What are the messages? Someone might be focusing on um, a gratitude practice, like expressing gratitude. Um, you might be, if you're someone who hasn't heard, well, if you're someone who you have heard from your angels and your guides, your ancestors, you, you usually hear from them and lately you feel like you haven't heard from them, I, you're about to hear from them. If this is someone who has passed on, you may be hearing a message, yeah. There's a, a message here about um, getting some type of resolution on something. Wow, this could be, yeah, Page of Swords. I feel like you're gonna get some type of message. Really, really strong, undeniable, clarity. Yep, Nine of Wands. Yep, Two of Cups. This might have been um, a need for closure, a need for understanding why things happened the way that they did. Something might have been unclosed in a relationship or unclosed in your life, words, things left unsaid. This doesn't mean it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone who has passed on. This could be a, a relationship, a connection that was important to you in your life and you have no closure in it. If you don't feel, or if you haven't heard from this person yet, it's, they're thinking about it. They feel like they owe you something. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords. You have all of the Knights coming in. There's a message of an apology. For someone here, it could be a change of heart. There's a need. Someone might be mourning the loss of the relationship i don't see this as you i feel like you have maybe have come to terms with this yeah five of pentacles they're feeling the loss the sting of you yeah four of cups this is where life and situations they just don't have the same meaning they don't to them or they just don't, they feel like you. they did you dirty in some way, or they didn't give you what you deserved. Wow, seven of swords, five of wands, page of cups. What they offered, what they gave, they might've been someone who's like overwhelmed by life or overwhelmed with their own struggles, with their own suffering, with their own thoughts. I didn't even see this card here yet. Eight of wands, here we have another card of message. It's like how they treated you or how they handled you or how they handled the relationship. You might've been someone who, they just automatically assume that you're not going anywhere and they did what they did. You you left or it, the situation dissolved and time passed. And now there's this need to kind of like reconcile or come back together or fix it or apologize or give back what was due to you. Whether you or not you are receptive to that is a whole different story because, yeah, Nine of Wands, you're just not in a space where you, this is really feeling like a love reading. Um, we we're actually talking about spring today, but if this is what we're, if this is where it's going, that's fine. You just don't, once this person did what they did, you don't trust them anymore. You don't trust them in the same way. Um... You're, this person wouldn't ease, you wouldn't easily let them back in. Yeah, four of wands. This would have been someone that you saw forever with. It could be a relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a parent. Um, some Somewhere where you just don't see sabotage happening. Um, if this has been a struggle between you and this person, it's more because they don't want to do life without you they can't like they they benefit having you in their life like a lot they benefit they greatly benefit from having you in their life they feel like there's nothing that i don't know if this is in the future or when you talk to this person when they reach out it feels like there's nothing that they can do to make it work when actually you're normally a person who does a lot of things to make it work. You put in a lot of work in the, in the relationship and the connection, but this time it doesn't seem like 
I, I would be curious. I like, I would ask you if this person was to come back in, like, could you give them a second or a third chance? Not me saying this, like, could you, but I wonder curious from the outside looking in, like, do you see yourself doing that? Because this is giving shut down, like the energy of being shut down, which is so interesting because the pile before was spirit was talking about being more open. And now this card is more about these cards so far are suggesting it's the power is in your hands. What it is that you want to do? And you may need a little bit more time to heal from from all of the things and how they how, of all how things unfolded in this connection. This feels pretty strikingly different from how things panned out versus your expectations. Like like how you would expect things to turn out versus how they actually turned out. It feels really stunning, like a shock. I really don't even want to wait. I want to dive into the Oracle. So the cards that you have is Tiger Eye. I'll read that to you later. Yep, you have protection. There's a part of you and also your angels and your guides. It seems very understandable. It feels like you were taken caught off guard with this. Like it's like if someone, oh no, I don't even want to use that metaphor. It, it makes sense for you. Wow. Protection and partnership both came up. You can choose. You can choose what you want to do with this person or this situation. I'm going to say this is a relationship reading right now because I don't really see this. Like, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be like a parent. It could be a family member. It could be a, a friend. It could be someone that you're dating. Shield yourself. Wow. Bogan Villa. Invoke protection to bring this situation to a speedy end. Intention. You may be questioning this person's intentions. Usually I see this as what are your intentions? What are you setting intention for? You may have set intention and then this person started dissolving out of your life or you started seeing characteristics or traits of this person that you couldn't tolerate. Very soon. Yep, this is coming in. Uncovering treasure. Hi, John the Conqueror, power and command. Yeah, you're in a position of power right now. You can choose. You can decide what you... If this is a buried treasure, if you want to call it that, if this is a something that you would like to um, live through, I guess. You are lovable. Aww. Peer pressure and let go of anxiety. Yeah, I would say there's a validity in how you feel and what you're thinking and any type of Okay, wow. If this is the flip side, I was just going to say, I was going to talk about you being on the receiving end, but someone might actually feel this way towards you where they're like, they don't trust your intention. They don't trust you, whether you did something or whether you didn't. There's a, a hefty level of anxiety, a feeling of betrayal here. And if this is someone rejecting you because they're protecting, they feel like they're protecting themselves from you for whatever reason, this is something that I think you have to learn to let them feel what they're feeling and let it go for now, unless they decide that they want to come around. I would not try to push this situation. And I think that's interesting, even with High John the Conqueror. Sometimes this um, energy can be tricky too, where you may use magic or you may use intentions or you may try to use people to kind of get around the barrier, the blockage. I wouldn't do that if this is you being on the pursuing end and not the receiving end. On the flip side, do be aware that someone here may be trying to push past the barrier because they want to get to you. The, that may only make you protect yourself even further. If you guys hear any barking, random barking in the background, it's not Franklin. It, it's going to sound like a tiny dog. It is. It's my neighbor's dog. It um, it barks whenever it's outside, and it always sounds like it's in pain. Um, let me go ahead and read the tiger's eye for you. I'm actually wasn't going to be doing extended readings today, but this is one of those readings, too, where, like the first one, this, I'm going to do an extended reading because I want to see what this person is going to say, what their intentions are, what is going to happen within this connection. I also find it very interesting that we were talking about like, what are the new blessings for spring? And it's like, this person is popping up out of the dirt. <laughs> Have you seen um, Hocus Pocus when, what was his name? the the zombie guy when he 
is it Scott or Scotty? <laughs> I don't know, guys. <sighs> um, he just like pulls up out of the grave. Um, has a good heart, but like he had, I don't know, he, he has a history. <laughs> I don't know his history, but he has a history. It's kind of like, if this is the your situation, you seeing this person kind of pulling up out of the grave, you would take a baseball bat and go, just knock his head right over so he can't get out of the grave, but he's gonna go look for his head, put it back on his head and then come find you, you know? This is, I'm not speaking that over you, but yeah. I just feel like someone here is trying to, let me see if I could turn this into a positive. I just feel like someone's coming back. Like I, it's giving reconciliation, it's giving, there is a chance, right? Um, that you may be manifesting partnership and that's why you're setting intention and that and why this is this is what's coming through. If that's the case, I feel like this may be a threat to someone of your past. I just feel someone interfering, not in a bad way, but not in a not in a way that gives them too much power over your life and your blessings and your peace and your love, but it just seems like you may have people fighting for your attention or trying to prove themselves to you, trying to show up for you now. I don't know why I even say it like that. Like, okay, now you want to show up. And it's up to you. Like, you are 100%, 1,000% empowered in your choice and your decision. I don't think that there's a right or a wrong. It's more what you decide for yourself. Wow. Okay. Also... Um, someone else may need to really hear this and I feel really called to say this, that you may have by being, when your person is coming, like when you're, let's say you're manifesting love, oftentimes what can happen is people of the past that you have already shielded yourself from start to pop up because you're attracting right now. So this is why you are empowered as long as you're moving forward and progressing towards healthy relationships, connections, partnerships, you can do whatever you wish to, but either way you're empowered. Don't allow your power to slip here though. Especially if they did you wrong, they need to come correct if you do allow this person in your life. And that's just me as BFF Jess being like, don't allow them to just enter back into your life as if nothing happened. No, we need to see apologies and corrected behavior. That's not the tarot saying that. That's me saying that to you. Um, okay. So positive willpower, optimism, the power to manifest essence into form and clear purpose. And this is for the tiger eye. Everything, including our planet, began as an idea in the sea of infinite possibility before becoming manifest in the realm of form. And the conditions you see today are the results of intentions created in the past. See, it's the past. There's something about the past. It's funny too that I got, comment down below if you know the character that is I'm talking about from Hocus Pocus. It's like a regular dude's name. It's not Scotty. I don't know, okay. Know that in this moment you have the power, yep. Very empowering right now. Know that in this moment you have the power to begin co-creating something new with the universe. You have what it takes to do what needs to be done. So with that clear intention in mind, take a deep breath, roll up your sleeves, and begin the work for its manifesting time. Tiger Eye Spirit reminds you not to get distracted by the largeness of a task or by people here that don't have goodness for you. As you have the conscious universe working with you, sending allies and messages to make the job easier, like the mountain goat ascending the peak one step at a time, so it might be a Capricorn, <laughs> you can let go of your worries and just look for the next foothold as you begin the manifestation process prepare the soil for planting crack a book that will educate i was that's crazy that they said that because i was i actually stopped myself someone here is reading or has been spending a lot of their time reading in the downtime of like a loss of a friendship or a connection or a relationship crack a book that will educate you in this next phase and get ready for some powerful manifestation energy to partner with you. See, partner, 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 partner. I'm gonna read this to you, the relationship message. Tiger's Eye spirit message is that someday is today and the right time is now. No wishful thinking, act to make your wish manifest. 
Remember that asking someone to dance isn't asking them to marry you. So be brave and take that first action toward connecting with someone you feel drawn to. Tiger's eye spirit energy of manifestation is with you and something very good promises to come from the courage you express. Be optimistic. Love and its modes of expression are looking for you right now. So step forward. You will be glad you did. So that's another sign too that something is very soon manifesting here. Someone may be actually trying to get away from an ex or another relationship or for life for a little bit and they end up bumping into the love of their life. So there's that. All right, I'm gonna move on to your extended reading. If this is a partner that's coming back in, I would like to see what they have to say. And if this is not a partner and this is someone coming in, I would like to see what their intentions are and where this relationship is headed. That's gonna be the extended reading down below. I wasn't actually expecting to do extended readings today. I was, I wasn't planning on it, but I'm okay with it. So I will link that one down below and you'll just look for the tiger's eye message. Okay. Until then, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on notifications because there will be more readings just like this one coming down the pipeline, I think is what they say, or give this video a thumbs up. Until then, I will see you guys in my next pick a card reading or during our astro chat live sessions chat conversations which are Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Bahati Love Notes which is my uh, monthly membership reading or um, predictions for the new and the full moon. Okay I'll see you guys in my next one. All right my loves if you chose Petrified Wood this is your reading. What is there for you to look forward to in spring? this spring what's coming down the pipeline for you all the oracle cards that i'm shuffling with i will link down below including the tarot it's funny that you well it's not funny it's telling to me that you chose petrified wood and you got the card of being petrified. So someone here might have been dealing with a whole lot of anxiety. Yeah. And your energy may have been feeling very locked up, shut down. I actually feel like this may be a direct result of something that you've been hoping for or setting intention for coming to fruition, especially with the falcon here and the dragon here. Um, or coming into fruition because the, also this moon is still growing. You have a lot of source energy. You've got to be in your head. Wow, the lover's card here. <clears throat> um, let me pull. She had, she's holding a sword too, a four of pentacles. The hangman. Okay, the biggest message that is that I'm getting, this is very specific. You might not see how I see it from the cards, but I'm just channeling from what it is that I'm seeing and feeling. You're going to need, in, in spring, this is a time to rely on intimacy and partnership and connection, not in the way that is that you were expecting. I feel like there's a sense of like need to be in control or know what's going to happen next. And you may feel petrified. You may feel powerless. This is because you're in a season of partnership and union, like genuinely allowing people in, surrendering. Surrendering, being vulnerable, allowing the universe in. It doesn't necessarily need to represent people that you allow in. It could be your angels and your guides, your ancestors. Are you asking for help from them? Are you <clears throat> going to your altar? Are you honoring them? Are you giving them offerings? This is, um, I'm wondering what's giving so much anxiety here with the nine of, nine of swords and the two of swords and the king of swords. Seven of pentacles. You have nine of cups, seven of pent, six of cups, and the nine of wands. You may feel, um, also the hierophant came up, so this could be health. If that's the case, you there is healing here. You're just going to want to take your time. 
You're going to want to take your time. If you feel like you're under the chopping block when it comes to organizations, bigger businesses that you work for or that you're um, involved in, you may, you need to take your time with how you can't really force things. You can't force things to come to fruition. You can't force things to happen. Um, if this is about studying or schools going to, you know, putting hard work in in order to make specific grades or to hit a certain mark. Um, this could be a lot of sleepless, this could feel like a lot of sleepless nights um, where you're worrying about test marks or how something is going to come back. Um, this is probably not, there's this message here about surrendering and how this isn't going to be, this is an important moment of your life, but it doesn't dictate the entirety of your life. The Nine of Cups is a time for you to be very gentle and kind to yourself. Uh, I'm also seeing someone here balancing a lot of different things. Like the, the, it's kind of slowing me down, even as I'm looking at these cards, because I'm like, what exactly am I looking at? But I feel like it's because there's many different things that it is that you are, you've got going on. This could be having a crush or dating, merged with working, merged with studying, or working on a project, or like a lot of things that you're doing. A lot of roles that you are filling right now. Um, the one thing that I do want to say is like, it seems like there's joy that's missing from the equation here. Because it seems like you're more involved in your head. You're thinking, you're thinking like you might be worrying a lot. Strength card. I was asking, where's the joy? This may be, um, again, your joy right now is going to come from asking for support. Finding, yeah, a partnership, union, coming together with people. Um, if you are someone who are usually spend your time with your friends or at work, you're going to find yourself wanting to go and spend time with family, um, seeing what family is up to. Uh, something that could have annoyed, originally maybe annoyed you. Now all of a sudden you find that that's exactly what it is that you need. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry for yawning. Wow, that was terrible. Yeah, the tower card. Ace of Cups. This feels like major, major lifestyle change. Major, major lifestyle change with a tower card, Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles. All these cards. This feels like you are in a major... Um, not in a bad way, but it feels, it can feel overwhelming because you, you're worrying about it. Um, but I, I see you needing to go back home or feeling the need to go back home again, spending time with family. If this is like, Oh, okay. I guess it is spring break time um, here. So that's interesting. This is like getting away or even though you're getting away, you may be worried about the condition of which things are left. You know what I mean? Like, let's say you take a test or let's say, God forbid, you have to go your whole spring break and you're not getting test results back until like the very end of your spring break. So it's in the back of your mind. You know, well, what, what did I do? How well did I do? Um, I don't know why school is coming forward so strong within this reading. So let me see if I can pull a different metaphor. I see this as something that has you locked in your head. Like it feels, it's interesting because pile number two was very empowered. And this card feels, or this pile feels like they've had a major lifestyle change or a major shift around them or within them that is making them lock up, get anxious, think, 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 um, to the point where you're not two of pentacles, like, I'm sorry, two of swords, four of pentacles. You are not really flexible right now, but it's interesting because your angels and your guides are asking you to be a little bit more receptive 
to surrendering to this process, to this journey, because I feel like you may be, your thoughts are worse than the reality of whatever it is that you're worrying about. Like the thought that you're thinking, like the fear, the angst that you put yourself lasts longer and is more extreme than the actual reality of what it is that is bother is bothering you. And I feel like the, the, the joy for you, because remember I was asking, where's the joy? The joy is in spring is going to places where you can forget that anxiousness. You can relax. You can trust. And that may be something that you're not used to is relying on people that you can trust on, like you can trust, that you can count on. You're going to start seeing that in the springtime. You're going to really start seeing the results of that. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, where when you call, they answer, they'll be there. You need that right now. You need that. There's somewhere there that this, that that can be found for you. I also feel, um, I don't know if the temperance card showed up. It did show up in the last few readings. There's a lot of um, patience. I'm surprised it's not here because your cards are definitely giving patience, being very patient with the timing that you're in in your life right now. Not needing to have an answer. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What You know, there's, you're going to... Right now, spirit just wants you to be held. Right now, spirit doesn't want you to... If you have to make plans for the future, it's like those plans will work themselves out. You're, you're going to... You're not going to have all the answers today, but every day if you do... Because this feels very active. If you were on vacation right now, you would still be thinking about it. I don't see a person being on vacation. I see them making plans, but don't expect to do it all in one day. Yeah, the tang man keeps showing up. This is about doing what you can for now and then giving it up, like surrendering it, like surrendering. Five of Swords. Yeah, this is, um, you don't want to, I don't feel you, sometimes with the Five of Swords, we can make things worse for ourselves accidentally and make things worse for people around us. I feel like this is more, you it, this is more reflecting stress your angels and your guides this it, they're saying like this could be avoided right this could actually be avoided if you eased up a little bit if you relaxed five of swords yeah is um can create a lot of tension page of swords is not very forgiving the hangman is about learning how to relax to surrender so if you can go to like saunas if you can go swim if you can take a bath, if you can go for walks, if you can be in the ocean, this would be very, your body will, will respond well to that. Yeah, the tower card, the 10 of wands. Um, I do want to say that these cards were reversed but that's okay. I, I said this in the last pile that if you hear a dog barking, it's my neighbor's dog. Um, some of you guys are entering into a season in your life where you may feel very unprepared and that is normal. <laughs> um, that is very normal. That is to be expected. You are not meant to have the answers right now. I... I <laughs> I don't know another way to say that. And I wish that that really gives you some, some peace and some comfort. You're not meant to have the answers right now. You're not meant to have it figured out like all of the days. Like let's say there's 10 days ahead of you that you need that you feel like you need to plan for and have everything counted for. You're, you're expected to have maybe 1.5 of your day planned ahead of you. That's it. Um, the universe is giving you a lot of grace right now. So can you receive that? It's not that you're not powerful. It's not that you're not potent. It's not that you're not manifesting. It's that it's in your best interest, right? There's seasons in every single one of our lives. If we look at the cycles of the moon and there's moments where the moon is has a 
you know, pulling on our tides in a way that just pulls it up. And there's moments where the ocean waves fall back. This is one of those energies where you're falling back. You're in new moon territory. So this new moon, this upcoming new moon, this reading is timeless, but we have a new moon on Sunday and you, a new moon in Pisces, I believe, if I remember correctly, you may find that you're needing a little extra, um, not gonna say quiet time, but maybe surrendering, not putting all of your energy into powering forward because you are just meant to relax as much as you can right now as much as you can. Let me see what your oracle cards are. I hope that this, this reading is tough. This is really tricky, especially with spring. The entirety of your spring feels like not allowing the, the thoughts, the negative thoughts that naturally kind of happen for anybody to have their way. That when that happens, go to partnership, go to the divine, go to relationships that you trust, Go to the higher self and set, ask for calmness, ask for kindness, ask for sweetness, ask for patience. Um, because it's not, let me show the reality around you. I just feel like the thoughts, the thoughts that you may be thinking or worst case scenario is more, is harder on you than your, your worst fear. And some of you guys will be like, how does that, yeah, 10 of swords, you're worried about the end or worried about something. Yeah, judgment. 10 of pentacles, ace of wands, and the three of pentacles. When in fact you have, because I was asking like what, what is actually around you as far as like fears and what is the actual reality? Your reality is 10 of pentacles, ace of wands, three of pentacles. You actually have a, a, a serious blessing around you. Some of you guys are worried that your life, like this quality lifestyle change is just going to disrupt everything. That like life as you know it, look, you have the death card here. Life as you know it is just done. You know, it's just going to be hardship. Someone here might be really fearing hardship when what you are actually walking into is new purpose union like recipro reciprocated partnership working together as a team and generational wealth or generational blessing but you wouldn't know that right now because maybe that's why your anxiety is coming through strong because you can sense um a major change is afoot within your life but it but you stressing about it is just going is is making your your energy tightened up right now when you could use the spring to relax and to enjoy the journey or watch the journey unfold and be an observer of life you know right now just kind of observing it and some of you guys you are so used to making things happen um, but you are going to feel a, a nice wave of, I have to wait, I have to wait. And that's okay. Again, it's like not being in a season of fullness, you know, always expecting yourself to be full. Sometimes there's moments where it's important for you to be poured into yes but not as active and not having all the answers and not being actively moving you know it's funny that you have petrified wood because when I think of the word petrified I think of like fear yeah truth and then we have the mystery yeah you guys are really wanting an answer what's going to happen next what is going to happen next what is this I need an answer what is this so I can move forward and this is where you learn to embrace the mystery of it all, like not having an answer. Magnify your intentions. Yep. 
please, it says, please bring your focus back to the key intention to let your angels help, right? It says your energy is spread out among too many ideas. Please bring your focus back to the key intention and your angel and let your angels help you. There's a lot of cards here that are suggesting that they want you to be supported and not having to piggyback everything on your own. Not that this is going to be detrimental, but it's just not the season for it. It's not the season. Ambition. May I offer all of my deepest longings to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond Listen to that. May I offer all of my deepest longings to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond the mind's imagining. Please use me for the highest good. Some of you guys need to set intention now in this mysterious space that you're in right now that the highest and greatest outcome for you be what is received and felt by you and nothing less. Not that there is going to be anything here that is a threat to that. If anything, it's going to be a reminder of you stepping in your power engagement yeah your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so things are going to start picking up hickory yep release and letting go this is another sign here that's like it's okay for you to let go it's okay there's plenty more abundance there's plenty more gifts this isn't the end of the journey for you and if it is the end of a certain season in your life it's a new it's the awakening of something Again, where it's it's abundant, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, high energy, exciting, new passion, new purpose. You may discover something totally new, brand new about yourself. And Three of Pentacles, it just seems like you have a lot of support um, around you, like stable, consistent, reliable support. Rainbow blessings. Yep, blessings are showering your life right now, 100%. 100%. But it just seems like sometimes when we're in the storm season, when it's stormy, um, we don't look for the rainbows. You know, we don't really expect the rainbows because it's so dark. But you, even if you, there was this one time, I, I, I don't like planes, and I was flying over a storm, like we we're flying through a storm right up, you know, going above it. And it was so dark. It was so dark where our plane was. The pilot pulled the plane up and then the air is cleared. The only thing that kind of changed and shifted was our perspective, right? We went a little higher and we were able to see clear skies versus what was kind of rumbling down below. And it made me think that like those people who are still on the ground underneath those clouds, all they're seeing is the storm and they probably have their umbrellas and they're bundled up and trying to hunker in because there's a storm that's passing over them. Where meanwhile, just above that storm is clear skies. The only thing that they're experiencing right now is the storm that, they, that they're that they in right in, in, in that moment when pretty much it's just their perspective where it is that they currently stand, which is creating their reality. And it made me think that like, just when we think that things are so bad, you know, right above that is clear skies. It's just where we stand. So um, I see that here in this situation too, where if you do feel like you're going through a stormy moment, if you do feel cloudy or scared, this is the time to talk to others and tell them about your feelings and to open up for partnership and union. Um, because that's, my grandfather said this actually last night. Was it last night? Yesterday. He said, unity is strength. Unity is strength. Coming together is strong. It makes us stronger. And that is what I see here. Um, is that there's someone here, someone's here that are here to be by your side through this time. And that will be the mark of this time if you allow it, not the storminess that you feel like you are going through right now. Yeah, cleanse your energy. So of any type of fear, anxiety, negativity. Um, smile, simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference that it makes. This may be for the people around you too. They may be really concerned about you and the fact that you're not smiling, the fact that you may feel a little off. Um, and sign from heaven, your loved ones in spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you'll be all right. So that's another sign that your angels and your guides are trying to tell you that you're going to be, you're going to be okay. You are going to be just fine. You're, it's sometimes you don't see it right now you don't feel it but it's because you're in it right but we just got to change our change our vantage point or wait be patient and the, the storm will pass and the rainbows will come out again so your spring honey is definitely going to be about wow wait till you see this um your spring is going to be about 
easing up with anxiety, easing up with your control, passing on that control, that need to control um, over to your angels and your guides, your ancestors who are there waiting for you and ready to support you. So your card, Petrified Wood, is about patience, timelessness, patience and trust and universal timing and going with the flow. And that is so much easier said than done. I believe it. But the universe has its own ideas about when and how to bring your intention into form. But we can be impatient, forgetting that time allows the universal consciousness to get all the wheels turning so that we so that what what we wish to co-create can begin to manifest. The appearance. <laughs> sorry, I just remembered something so random. Uh, squirrel. The appearance of this crystal is a reminder <laughs> to trust in the timing of the universe. Good things come to those who wait. Your message right now is to be open to divine order for you cannot control the timetable or the form in which the universe expresses your intention. Focus on, that's the thing that they're saying, like to not, do not try to control what happens next. Just allow yourself to be patient and wait. And that's your biggest obstacle for spring. That is a good place to be in right? That's a good place. Believe it or not, I just want to give you a big hug right now, but it's actually a good place to be in. Focus on the process, putting one foot in front of the other as you work at your own growth and healing and what you need will show up in perfect timing. Be patient, be patient, be patient. Also, there's a message there about reconnection, okay? So I am going to now move on to the extended and just kind of give messages for comfort like a chamomile like a chamomile tea um so if you need that that will be your extended message i will link it down below that's what we're going to be focusing on on your extended me um, message reading because i really want to give you some peace in this place that you're in in your life right now so feel free to meet me down in the extended message for everyone else thank you so much for allowing me to read for you and i will see you guys in my next one bye